Hello, good morning and welcome to News Express. Of course, it comes to you every single morning, proudly brought to you by Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper. I am Rachel. Welcome to the show. Let's take a look at some uh, headlines on Business AM this morning and, of course, bring in the publisher to give us more insights into the headlines. The cover page, the very first headline on the cover page this morning, CBN finally clips BDC wings but Apex round tripping stinks among bankers. Uh, underneath that one, analysts react to mixed sentiments, asks if ban is reminiscent of 2016 episode, warn of looming Naira devaluation, attendant inflation, loss of investor confidence, point how bank cronies own multiple BDCs for racketeering Apex resource bleeding. Hmm, mouthful there, but that's uh, the headline, the very first headline on Business AM, and it's going to be our conversation starter this morning. The second headline there, Nigeria's oil block ownership, a dubious national oil industry management. Bullet point, stakeholders want its immediate outright scrapping, but financial experts say monetization of fields more critical than winning bid, and the DPR says oil blocks awarded based on applicants' qualification. That, too, is going to be a part of our conversation. I'll give you a run through the summary section uh, so you know what to expect when you pick up the paper. Nigeria's 10% Africans without light. Take that again. Now, Nigeria's 10% Africans without light. That one's on page three. Finance and investment segment. Investors' confidence back in green. Page 11, energy, power and renewable, $2.8 billion AKK project on home run. It continues uh, on page uh, 22 now. The company and business segment, Bois Cement, makes 63 billion naira in second quarter. And I'll move down to the uh, commodities and agri section where we have steel industry needs restructuring. And that one continues on page 24. I'll bring in uh, Mr. Philip Isapa to join me for conversations now. Good morning, Mr. Philip. Thank you so much uh, for joining me on the show. How was your weekend? Uh, good morning, Rachel. It's good to be back every, this Monday. Uh, weekend was good. I hope yours was good as well. It was fantastic. Thank you very much. Let's get into the conversation now. Uh, the CBN has put a halt to the sale of uh, foreign exchange to BDC operators. And uh, they also said the CBN would stop issuance of new BDC licenses. Some analysts have seen it as a step to the right direction, you know, as it concerns the uh, unification of Nigeria's multiple exchange rates. While some say or some are warning about the looming devaluation and dollar scarcity ahead, I even had to go, you know, read up again what happened in 2016 when this move was made. But what are your thoughts? Hey, Richard, we, uh, last week we were talking, on Monday we were talking about uh, what the outcome of the uh, uh, Monetary Policy uh, Committee meeting was going to be. Mm. Recall that uh, we had made a call that uh, rates were going to be, I mean, uh, held uh, flat. True. And, uh, we, and you said, oh, let's see what happens on Tuesday. Mm. Uh, good thing that uh, we made the right call, uh, rates were held flat, True. you know. But instead of the conversation, uh, so, I mean, being around what... Uh, the, the monetary policy rates uh, uh, decision, uh, you know, was about. You know, we, we went into a completely different uh, ball game. You know, you know? Uh, it, it was like a bolt out of the blue, like we have we have said in this uh, story. Mm. You know, that uh, from nowhere the CBN came and said, "Sorry, BDCs, you won't be getting." Uh, 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 they sold uh, uh, dollars or uh, for, forex anymore. You know, I, I will take it back to maybe earlier in the year or late last year. Okay. There, there was a particular uh, publication in the media, you know, uh, where there was a strong argument against the Central Bank of Nigeria selling uh, Forex to BDCs, you know, uh, especially making the point that these are private businesses, you know, yeah. that globally the way BDCs operate is that uh, they, mo- they take, you know, they are intermediaries between those who come I mean, you, uh, people, you say tourists, you know, mm. uh, of uh, people who come from outside the country or if you're, if you're just traveling back in and you have uh, a few, a few, uh, what's it called, a few dollars, a few pounds or a few foreign currencies and you want to quickly 
convert that to to the currencies of your country mm -hmm. you know of the country that you're going to spend it you know so you go to the bdc's and then you 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 do you make such exchange but we have found with this decision, you know, that the central bank has been selling on a weekly basis a hundred million dollars, you know, to BDCs, you know, and and here's it, there's here's it, a particular challenging point about it, you know, that we have been talking about exchange rate disparity you know you have a country with a multiple exchange rate situation you know and uh, the, the, the 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 gap between the official and and the the uh, uh, street market rates you know it, it is so wide you know that you 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 create arbitrage and you create what you call round tripping you know mm. which the central bank has now come up to say oh we have noticed this and then we want to put a stop to it you know so uh, of course it became the talk of uh, of, of of the town uh, uh, all of all through last week you know the point that some analysts uh, have made is that uh, well this thing happened in 2016 you know and then uh, and when it happened in 2016 you saw the naira quickly uh, 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 got devalued you mm -hmm. know and we have noticed that it has happened again this time you know uh the naira was doing uh, 520 uh, 525 but you know you you can say okay so there was a there was this a break put on 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 the throttle uh you know on you know and then and then you you had this uh, immediate reaction you know but in any way the naira was actually getting devalued on a, reg on a daily basis already mm -hmm. you know we have talked about the naira going going down uh, se uh, several times you know in the past you know and uh, it had at some point reached 500 anyway you understand so but the point is that the, the, there are some concerns which are genuine you know one uh, one professor waleke said there's merit and then there's demerit mm -hmm. you know uh, there are those things that are happening in the market that are not good for the market yeah. you know and then uh, with this decision is meant to to stop that you know you have round tripping you know round tripping simply means you take the dollar you know at a rate that the central bank gives to you you know central bank has always told bdc's you know sell your dollar at uh, two naira above the mark that we give to you mm -hmm. you know but that isn't that wasn't happening and when you have a, 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 a when you have a market that cbn is pumping a uh, hundred million dollars into in on a weekly basis then you're talking about billions at the end of the year yes. you know the the forex res, the forex reserve isn't going to be helped by that you know and it is where in the world would you see such a huge amount of money going into a, a, into a market that is supposed to be dealing with a, a, a small, small, what you call a, a, a tourists coming in or you coming in with uh, some few, some few, uh, uh, what's it called, few, few forex that uh, you say, oh, you, you branch into, into, uh, into a foreign, uh, uh, sorry, bureau du change and you change it and then so that you can spend, you can spend as you, uh, because that spend, change it into the, the country's currency so right. that you can spend as you as you as you, you go about you know so, so that's been a major issue you know and this is meant to 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 stop that you know and we have extended that you know to say okay the cpn is saying that uh, uh, well we 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 are stopping the bdc's from doing this we're not going to give them dollars anymore you know so we are transferring it to the banks you know no so so banks will not handle that aspect you know that you can you rachel can walk into uh, into into a bank mm -hmm. you know if you have uh, if you have need for some small uh, forex you know then you can walk into the bank ask for for to be sold forex and then you get it and you 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 walk away of course we know that there's that's going to be cumbersome because there's going to be a, a maybe perhaps some bottlenecks which some people have uh, alluded to you know but the key thing is that we then found out you know mm -hmm. that even while this amanda uh, you know uh, what you call forex amanda was going on you know that the bankers were not immune from what was happening because they were also involved you know so i mean the second part of this story is going to come later on because look, looking at uh, so, some aspect of it where the bankers are also uh, so involved requiring requiring the central bank to actually do its monitoring uh, job uh, very very carefully mm -hmm. you know so what is going to happen is that well Round tripping is also going on among bankers. You know, you might not be; it might not be the banks themselves. You know, as a policy doing that. You know, but you have bankers because you have human beings who are bankers. You know, the bankers are human beings. They are the ones who are uh, uh, responsible for the decisions being uh, being taken in terms of sales. You know, so they, they so, so there's a lot. There's some 
form of uh, round tripping that uh, bankers are also involved in, you know, that would require the central banks to really monitor the situation. You know, what's going to happen now, uh, Rachel? We, we're not too sure. You know, the, the market has responded uh, 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 very, very swiftly. You know, uh, the market will come down at some point, you know, uh, the central bank will have to uh, be able to supply more, uh, more make more forex available. Mm. But the key thing, the key thing is that there is forex, uh, 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 what's it called, depletion. You know, depletion in the sense that uh, the foreign the forex reserves isn't uh, uh, growing uh, so fantastically or uh, rapidly as it should. You know, and. What, because again, productivity is is low. You know, productivity is down in the country. You know, which is uh, foreign direct investment isn't coming in as it at as, as it used to be. You know, for forex to to really uh, accrue for for to deal with the the market uh, uh, situation. You have a situation where there is something close to two billion. You know, or a little over two billion dollars. You know, outstanding. You mm. know, for you know, for especially those foreigners, uh, foreign investors who have some money to. To, to take out of the country, you know, so so there's there's a, a whole lot of issue around that that, that matter that right. ne needs to be sorted, and we hope that the central bank will get on top of it, uh, you know, as uh, they have taken the decision, you know, to 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 stop forex sales to the BDCs. Right, and just after that meeting, I think that was on Friday, the CBN also released the capital importation uh, data, where we saw a 54 percent decline. When I saw that, I was thinking, you know, what this would mean for various sectors of the economy, especially when you combine it with this recent decision uh, by the CBN on BDCs? You know, capital importation, I mean, it simply means that money isn't coming in. You know, you, you, you can see that uh, if you look at the, the, the statistics, you know, capital importation uh, for the, the, the banking sector was, was quite high, you yes. know, even though it had come down, you know, it had come down, you know, uh, investors are still putting money, you know, uh, so through, through the banking uh, system, you know, some money is still coming in in terms of uh, in, uh, people investors looking looking lo looking at uh, giving uh, some some from forex or onward lending in some cases, you know, for, mm -hmm. for some banks, you know, but the key thing is that the, the economy will need to be uh, uh, re-energized you know uh, rejigged you know to, to, to be able to attract uh, uh, what you call uh, capital you know so it, it, it's very important that the, the the environment is made right you know uh, there, there are different areas where uh, capital uh, capital ought to be coming in you know those areas you know like technology for instance you know uh, decisions that are that are inimical to to i mean uh, not friendly to, to to foreign investors those things will need to be put right you know uh, we, we've talked about i mean in the past we've, we've talked about uh, uh, people who are involved in uh, in the in the uh, uh, the technological space you know the twitter the the decisions that have been taken about twitter you know that uh, 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 facebook and and the rest of them you know they do so the, the entire environment will have to be put right you know for for capital to, uh, capital importation to increase you know and then for for uh, the the what's it called the 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 load that we have seen you know uh, the, the drop that we have seen you know to, to 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 go away and then to have more you know because nigeria needs investment nigeria needs more foreign capital coming in you know to to show up the economy to develop a whole lot of, of, of things you you have you have challenges uh, uh, in food production because of uh, 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 clashes you know headers farmers clashes and and insecurity so so many things have to be put right you know for 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 the economy uh, to to really they be attractive, you know, for, for capital importation to, to rise again. Mm. All right, let's move on to the second headline now on the cover page, talking about a dubious national oil industry management. Now, many stakeholders and oil industry watchers have condemned the oil bloc's individual ownership in the country. They are saying that there are certain financial, certain technical and business management frameworks that are that's supposed to be met you know before an entity can be awarded an oil well or oil block which some of these individuals are not meeting and they are demanding its immediate scrapping is is, is it the answer is that the best thing to do scrapping the the move to make now what what what, what really uh, got us interested in this story you know is 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 sometimes you need to look at uh, some 
aspect of the economy and what's going on and to be able to say uh, whether things are done in the in the in the best in the best way possible mm. you know where you do where you do not okay so you have you have this the, let's say you have the u.s system you know or the canadian system where if oil is found in your backyard you know uh, in your on your land you know that oil belongs to you you know uh, now uh, we don't have that such a system here you know so so all minerals under the ground gold uh, whatever silver tin you know including oil belongs to to the state now how do you then manage the oil that is in the hands of the state so we had a long term of military regime you know where favors were given to people right so we call a we call a rachel you know uh, rachel has uh, friends in the corridors of power you know and uh, and there's an oil block available and rachel is given an oil block you know uh, rachel does not have technical uh, ability does not have financial ability but an oil license is placed in in your hand so and that's that's when you begin to go look for the technical or financial uh, 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 muscle to be able to, uh, to to really go into it and, and in some cases some 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 kept theirs and some even uh, sold 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 uh, or rented those uh, uh, licenses out or the, the the blocks out you know but here is the, the, the crucial thing so in a, in a, when the country has now gone to a, a situation where you have i think it started with a debate around some of states being totally out of pocket as we speak now you know states cannot meet their that's uh, the, i'm talking about uh, 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 subnational states you know that cannot meet their their, their their needs economic needs you know uh, some cannot pay salaries some cannot fund the the the, the uh, fund education some cannot fund healthcare you know and then you have you have oil blocks that have been put in the hands of individuals you know some individuals as a result could be richer than some states you know they might not have all the resources you know with, that is that the state might have you know so we are it's now so it's questioning uh, should this continue why should oil blocks be in the hands of individuals you know should should this be the proper uh, way to since since oil the oil blocks were put in the hands of uh, state control you know should they now be in the hands of individuals so we've spoken to a lot of people some people have argued well uh, uh, some say strongly that this shouldn't be be the case you know mm. that uh, it is a, a system that started uh, in in the in the uh, uh, during the military regime that uh, i think uh, a hand was placed on uh, president uh, president uh, i think babangida you know uh, some link it back to uh, the jubril amenu's time as a uh, minister of uh, petroleum resources you know where people were bega- uh, the people began to uh, to to be given oil blocks you know and and perhaps some even go back back in time you know so so there's a there's a, a, a complete uh, there's, there's, there's a group of people uh, analysts who say uh, they, they must find a way to stop to, to to wrestle back as a matter of fact the idea is about wrestling back you know uh, the, the 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 blocks from individuals that were mm. given you know and then and then put it onto a, a system you know that uh, that will be just you know that will be uh, uh, right for the for the for the country but some of us talked also talked about uh, uh, like we spoke to a financial expert who said it's not all all, all about uh, winning the bid you know it's also about how you monetize fields you know in in, in that instance they're talking about some people who even got uh, got the oil blocks especially some in the marginal fields area we, we saw what happened uh, some time ago regarding marginal fields you know you, you, you there was a, a recent uh, 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 marginal fields bid round you know uh, and we, we we heard about how uh, some people that were given uh, uh, what's called acreages in the past you know in the marginal fields uh, space you know could not even develop it and they had to uh, uh, they had to uh, government had to to take, take take them back from from those people and then put it in this uh, last bid rounds you know that that took place now if you cannot monetize a field there's a challenge that's a problem you know it's a problem for for not for the not just on not just for the sector but mm-hmm. also for 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 nigeria as a whole because earnings will not be coming in you know so so some people have said no it's not about winning the bids it's all the key thing is about how to monetize they want uh, even if oil blocks uh, get into the hands of uh, of individuals that there should be a system that that, that ensures that uh, those those fields are monetized in terms of uh, that work 
goes on there and then uh, 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 what is it called uh, oil is gotten from the ground and then uh, 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 yields yields uh, money in the end mm-hmm. you know so 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 this is this is a story that we are, we are going to be following you know to see what's going on in that space you know especially you know how it is that uh, the states you know uh, states across the country can become so broke you know that uh, uh, that they are not able to you know to to fund a lot of things meanwhile they are oil uh, blocks, you know, that are in the hands of uh, individuals who are making a kill, you know, uh, uh, and then becoming richer than some states. Mm. All right. Meanwhile, to our dear listeners and uh, readers, if you want to take a closer look at the um, unaudited results for the quarter ended 30th June 2021 for Unilever, it's on page five, sitting pretty on Business AM. Thank you so much, Mr. Philip, for joining me this morning. We'll see how all of these stories unfold. Thank you very much, Rachel, and have a great day. You too. And that was Philip Isakba, the publisher of Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper. I am Rachel, and I'll be right back.